According to your mercy and your good for me, what, what you said you, said you have done, done, I just need to remind you know. Because you are not a man. Change your mind. Change your mind. Those that know you will trust in you. Nothing horses and chariots. Hey, but the arm of flesh. No man can prevail. No man, no man, no man, no man. No man. of your seat and go to three persons tell them no more boundaries open your mouth and say loud and clear to them tell them no more boundaries open your mouth and tell them no more boundaries Hallelujah. I said no more. Tell that person where you're standing is a springboard for your next level of life. Lift up your beautiful hands up to God, everybody. What do you want from God now? Any moment from now, the womb of your destiny will start to give birth to what you are putting to it. So open your mouth now and talk to God. Please control that microphone, the fan. Open your mouth now and talk to God because by 12 we're leaving this hall. So you don't have enough time. I want you to concentrate in the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Open your eyes and listen to me. This year that we're entering, the behavior and the attitude and its response to you will be determined by you. Whatever you tell this year, now, that is what it will bring to you. Many people wake up in the morning and they just stroll out. And anything begins to happen to the accident, they will steal their things. Some will be kidnapped. Some will be killed. Some will lose their job. Some will lose their friends. Some will lose their father. Some will lose a lot of things, lose their promotions. Some will lose money. 
and they begin to say, God, why did it happen to me? Some of them will eat poison, so much or something deadly. And they begin to blame God. No. You don't blame God because you allowed it to happen to you because you woke up without commanding your day. So your day begins to behave in accordance to whatever forces of darkness that was awake to instruct it. We are entering a year now, 2023. It will be an abomination that what happened to you in 2022 will start happening to you in 2023. You are barren in 2022. Make sure you're not barren in 2023. I don't understand that. Amen. You didn't marry in 2022. Don't end 2023 as a single person. You didn't have a house, please end up not having a house. And this amen will happen by what you have said, what you have decided to do. You know, another, another word for amen is Jesus. He said, for thus says the amen. Jesus is the amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And God has given us everything that can help us decide what will happen in 2023. If an evil man takes on presence of Nigeria, you have yourself to blame. Not just having your PVC, you need to introduce the person you want in the spirit world. You need to introduce and tell the womb what it will give birth to tonight. And that is why we are here. That's why you left your house, took a risk and came here. That's why you're still awake. You're not here to dance or do anything, but you're here to decide here. You're not here to take a new year resolution. No, 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 no. You are here to command the year that we're entering, how you want him to relate with you. Something needs to be consistent in your life. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Something needs to be consistent in your life. You don't, things need to, need to change. There's a pattern that you must destroy. You listen to me. You are not going to be begging for our strength this coming year. It's only for you to say it with your mouth. The Bible says the power to put to death and to put to life is in your tongues. Is we are in your tongues. I was praying for a sick person with Pacifier. The person spoke to me, he said, Allow me to go. I don't I'm tired. There's no prayer you pray that can make the person to be healed. I was with you. There's nothing because the person has decided what he wants. That's how at times I tell people. <laughs> I we were praying somewhere for a sick person. I told the person, the person was praying, Lord, reveal heaven to him. I said, don't pray that prayer again. If this woman sees heaven, he will never come back. What is he coming here to do? To be chased about by Fulani and to bring text messages. Don't go through a the road. Uh, if you go there, there are kidnappers. Don't go through top rack by five. There is this. He will go. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So I, told that, I told the daughter, I said, don't pray that prayer. Change it, change it. If you want your mother to be alive, change it. And when they changed the prayer, the mother was healed and began to tell them. They told the last time, I said, Why did you call me back? The mother been an age, warmer, warmer. She was describing the kind of fragrance of the place. So if you didn't stop that prayer, there's nothing. If God revealed, it takes a man that has way power to see heaven and still remain here. And what to make it happen is because the person has an understanding that he has not finished his assignment. If God shows you heaven, you don't need this person. Am I talking friends? Paul said three times have he, he has been, whether it's the body or out of the body, say, but he's not going there because there's a walk that he's doing here. That's what kept him here. 
He said, to die is gain, and to be alive is what? So, this night, you can decide what will happen to you. You can decide whether to carry that sickness to next year. You can decide whether charm will catch you, whether you will bury, whether you will lose. Whatever you want, the morning womb has been given to us. The womb of 2023 is in your hand. What do you want? If you like, don't pray. If you like, be looking at others. If you're a young girl, be praying that as I, this year I'll enter university, I will not lack money for my school fees, I will not beg for money, I will be held, my father will be alive, my mother will be alive. You can decide this year that we're entering. Let the year not take you on our ways. What do you want in the coming season? It's not in the hand of God again. I'm about to give first. I have seen 2023 how it will end with me. And I have decided what he will, how he will behave. The 2023 cannot instruct me. Cannot decide anything from me. I will decide 2023. I have slept. While I'm awake, sleeping, I had a dream. And I saw something in my eye. I came back to life with it in my hand. It's no longer in the dream world. I prophesy that your life will not end up in the dream world. You don't understand. That your houses will not be only in the dream world. That your wife will not be in the dream world. Your children will not be in the dream world. Your husband will not be in the dream world. You being a landlady, a landlord will not be only in the dream world. Let those things you're dreaming come alive. I say, let it come alive. I just stepped into this church. Come. Come. I said, come, come. While I finish talking to God, I lay down there, I slept off. And while I was asleep, somebody came and handed me some dollar in my hand. I got my point. So while I was here, you can see the time. Hmm? You see it. As I woke up, I saw this dollar in my hand in my dream. And I woke up, came here now, and the person sent me a text sending me this amount of dollar. Is it not how many minutes ago from now when I entered here? Why? I have told God, you are not and I rob you, Will not, I will, it will not stay behind. I am coming out of my dream with it. 2 two came at the same time. We saw the two things. Two of it. One is Western Union. One is Send Wave. The Western Union came all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. The same wave came all the way from California. Because I have told this, this year to give me a gift before I enter 2022. Things must change in your life. It has started with me. It should rub upon everybody here. I say it must rub upon you depending on the state of your heart. State of your mind. Nothing will make me not to finish this building this year. I don't need your faith in this one because you don't have faith for this. My own is enough. I say what? My own is enough. Are you ready? You need to raise your own altar now. Am I talking? An altar is a place of communicating with the spirit realm, entering to the spirit world, Take what is on natural earth to the spirit realm, then collect the one in the spirit world and bring it down to earth. There are different kind of altars. You can have a human altar, which is your prophet, can be your human altar. You listen to what I'm saying? You must break your bands and break loose and move forward. You shall no longer be looking for who to entertain you. 
you will begin to entertain yourself and entertain others. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do not be sending text messages. My things are very difficult for me. Things are very bad for me. Things are this, things are that. No! Writing it to your prophet does not make it happen. Write it to yourself. And decide that it will change. Are you ready? You're already sitting down. I'm sorry for you, my feet are sitting down. No, but it's baby. Take a decision. Be angry. What did I say? Be angry. Hate your yesterday. Dislike it. Lose your test board about yesterday. You listen to what I'm saying. Raise your right hand up and say, My father. Open your mouth now. Say, My father. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? If you're waiting for me to carry you to pray for you, you're wasting your time. I have my own problem. You must pray for yourself. Hey, listen to me. The man of God has his own needs. Woman of God has his own needs. Some of us came here for our needs. The difference is that there's an oil upon me that you plug in and collect what God has given to you. I'm just an agent. Everybody, every man of God here that has one problem or the other. So don't think anybody is going to be praying for you. I don't, man of God will pray. You're wasting. No, but listen, I have not pray, finished praying for myself. I want to tell them, I brought you here my business to tell you the mind of God and lead you into prayers. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if you're waiting for me to give you prayer topic, you'll be a topic for yourself. Let's your hands up and say, Father God. Can you open your mind and say, Lord God Jehovah. In the name that is above every other name. I am here tonight to instruct 2023 how to relate with me. I summon 2023 here now. The womb of 2023. Right now, I have come to introduce what I want into you. I have come to use my mouth to sow into that womb, into the egg in the womb of 2023. I have come to pregnant it now. Right now, mention your name. I am Evergreen Ugo Chuku Chuku America Water Chuku Worms. I come to introduce myself. I introduce myself to the womb of the morning. I am in charge now and I want to tell you how to behave. And you cannot behave outside what I say. Right now, I begin to release my needs. Now open your mouth and begin to your mouth. Open your mouth, clap your hands and begin to pregnant it. If you like, be waiting for me. I have no time to pray for you. I'm praying for myself. This, I'm just telling you what God wants you to do. So you better do it. I cannot make it happen for you. I cannot perform miracles for you. God wants you to do the miracles for yourself. Lord, I decree that 2023 will cause many to hear me. That those that will hear me will be many. There will be so much. I decree that thousands of people shall be brought into this hall. Lord God Jehovah, that you bring people that will enable the work of God that is in my hand to flourish. Hey, I prophesy to 2023, you shall cause crusades to come. You shall respond to my needs. You shall respond with life. You shall respond with faith. You shall respond with power and glory and honor. Manana mando Sakatonde le bakatonde le kantonde le ala ba ho shiki ba hanta makama kika kamas kete shiba katanga karienda kraspa resum rienda sombrenia lembrenia nombrana ko sombre lembrana makatongre i release all my justice i release fish with god in the mouth to come and welcome me to 2023 
Let my fish with God in the mouth begin to come forth, begin to come out. Let my fish swim towards me. The fish with God in the mouth swim towards me, swim towards my family, swim towards my children, swim towards my friends, swim towards my, my helpers. Right now, I command you, all the fish that will enable my destiny begin to swim towards me. Thou shit that is carrying the gold that belongs to me begin to come towards me, come towards me, come towards me, come towards me. That money back come towards me. That sponsor come towards me. Equipment for crusade come towards me. People that will enable the world come towards me. Swim towards me. Let my accent begin to spring forth. I am mm. Let you sombre, let you ramatanga, shura bacante, rabando robacosiria, letunga elesis flante, malon balanta la catunga landa, chicatanda la bacatonga, elegant monco de gerebo, e cadebe de lobo socaya, e cadebe coteca de cadagataga, ele cadaga de consomacade, e cadeca de caduca mahala catungada, ele catuca da la bahanta, macanta la bahara, ira babato, ira babashise, shira. Rabakatangra, le braga de bocosa, se bracamando, holoba barabacatombre lebe, lembre lebe, lebre lebe, sombra lebega, lebre lebe, lebre rabaca shanda, zebra la baca da la bacaza, e cacabada la bacasaca, e cramando rabaca socra de lebe, lebre la bacasaca quitalaba, e candala bacasa camada, la barabaca sombra la baca sombre, e le bacatongre de de de, rebatombre la bacasa, e catonga da la bacatonga de laba, e candala bacasata, e chipa. Katama, e kamando lobogosi, seto usite, seto se. Seto suta rada, surata bara kato, robo shi se vrakade, eli vrama kando roba kosa, se vrama kanda la bakasia, se vrama baka soka kito robo kosanda, jibra baka tanga, araba baka to robo kosi, se kramando robo kosa, se baka mando kusokoda, eli boko shika kina la baka, mosoka kina, kakina kanda, karanda rabaka sonte le behende, e se ketendere le beko sobre le bekasa, e kramando robo kosi bre le la baka seka kamando lo boko shika ga mala baka to baka da e la baba ka sa baka ki da la baka sa mando lo bos mando lo bos ke le bala lo boko ro bande re baka so ro ma e ro bande ra baka so ro ma ka nda ko ra ka ki nda ra baka she so ko ra ka ki nda ra ba ko ra mande re beko so ka te re beko sa ka ka mando lo boko sia e le baba 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 ba sha nda ro baba baba ka so ka ba ba ka sa ya re be beko se ko ro ba ka se ro baba ba ka so ka ba ro ba ka sa e ro ba in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I don't want tonight to be a night that you came to fulfill your righteousness. Oh, it is a crossover night. Let me go to church. No. In America, they don't think nobody is doing crossover night. Some are doing their parties tonight, everything. I listen to me. Yet they will be successful. Now listen to me. You are not here tonight to fulfill your righteousness. You came here for a business. Am I talking, friend? You came here to decide issues. You came here to water the seed of your destiny. Now you are going to raise the right hand and say, My father. Every evil day that is parted into 2023. Built into 2023 by the forces of darkness, Almighty Jehovah God, I uproot those evil days in my business, evil day in my health, evil day in my family, any source of evil day in any manner it wants to manifest in 2023. I uproot it now. Open your mouth, begin to uproot the evil days. Open your mouth, open your mouth, uproot the evil day, change every satanic calendar against your life. Mojede, Jadama Kunda, Janda la Kakanda, Kunda la Bakasa Katanda. Every evil day in 2023, programmed against me and my household, programmed against my family and this church, I uproot you evil day. Every evil day, programmed against my friends, against my helpers, against those who enable my destiny, I uproot. I uproot you. 
I uproot you. I uproot every evil day. Lord, I don't know the day they plan the evil. I don't know the time they set it. Lord, anything that is set as an alarm to blow against my life, against my family, against my friends, against my relationship, against my brothers and sisters, against my nieces and my nephews, against my cousins, against those who have my medicine. I uproot that evil day. I uproot the evil day. I Man, every every evil day in 2023 be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cast the evil days out of 2023. I shall not have any evil day. I shall not have any evil day in 2023. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift the right hand up and say, Father, Father. in 2023, my nose will not drop me and run away. Open your mouth and say it. Do you know Mephibosheth became a cripple in 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4? What made him a cripple is that the nurse that was carrying him dropped him and he became a cripple. There are some of you here. There are people who have decided to pick you up to help you. May they never drop you. This amen is so funny. You keep on saying, ah, this man used to help me. Oh, This man used to help me. I don't know what has entered into him. My phone, you know, they pick again. He doesn't even return back my text message. When I come to his house, the kid man will, bang, bang, will just bounce me. Why? Because that same unclean spirit that God, that circumstances that was created. You know, Satan can create a circumstance that can make your helper to drop you. You're going to pray against it now. Because the man they call Mephibosheth was not born a cripple. It is circumstance that made the person they had his life over to. Maybe business partner, maybe someone who's helping you financially, maybe someone who's giving you correction, maybe someone who's linking you to government, suddenly turn back against you. You have to say in 2023, no helper will turn his back against me. No helper will drop me. And I will not be crippled or disabled. I shall not be disabled in 2023. Open your mouth and say, Father God, Oh my God, open your mouth and say, Father God, this hour, I decree that I shall not be disabled materially, physically, financially, socially, spiritually, I mean, and politically. I shall not be disabled in 2023. No man shall drop me. My helpers shall not drop me. Those who come out to bless me shall not drop me. No circumstance shall be created that will make them drop me. I shall not be crippled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Those who are watching me live, pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray so that I can keep you awake. I'm not hearing your prayers. I decree that no man shall cripple me. I shall not be disabled in 2023. My helper shall not drop me. Those who believe in me, those who love me, so who sponsor me, those who enable me shall not drop me. And they shall not be dropped by those who help them. Oh, Father God, I cancel any disability that will ever try to come up in 2023. I, the church shall not be disabled. My members shall not be disabled. Whatever force of darkness that disables men, that cripples me, shall not near my dwelling place. He shall not near this church. He shall not near my ministry. He shall not touch my name. He shall not touch my ministry. He shall not touch my reputation. He shall not touch my image. I rebuke everything sent forth to disable me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. At the end of the day, when they dumped Mephibosheth, the Bible now said, somebody carried him out of Jerusalem. 
carried him out of the city and took him to where nobody will remember his name again. It is one thing that someone has been crippled is that there is kept where nobody can see him again. Some cripple are seen on the road, am I right? And you have Peter begin to help them. But this one is that they know he's crippled. They took him to a place called Lodeba. And Lodeba means a place of no communication. A place of no of, of dryness. A place of scarcity and frustration. A place of depression. So he will die. You cannot allow that to happen to you in 2023. Yeah. You don't even know that. <laughs> this one I'm talking about. You, you are not angry about it. You don't want to be mad at it. May it never be your portion in 2023. Yeah. Lift right up and say, Father God, can I hear your prayer? Somebody say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, any man that carries me up, any man that is giving me a ride, should not take me to a place of dryness. Can you speak it out? Should not take me to a place of dryness. Where people will not communicate good to me. I resist it today. In 2023, I shall not be kept in darkness. I shall not be taken away from place of honor, from the place of joy. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, Lord, every Lord ever kept for me, I detest it. I resist it. I command it out of my way. Oh, open your mouth and pray, friends. It's a serious matter. Please pray about it. You cannot afford to mess up your life in 2023. Some of you are not praying. You are tired. Because in a and that's why you don't want to pray for yourself. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. I want to hear you clap your hands and pray. I want you to pray with annoyance. Be angry. Scream. Nobody's going to beat you. Get mad. This night is not a place of quiet prayer. It is a place you must open your mouth and pray. It's not a prayer of Obi or the Nobi. No! Speak it out with your mouth. For the word is nigh thee. Confess it with your mouth. Man shake a day. Gede gumanda kade gede. Candala makus candala baranta. Li branta karamando brania kasongre. Le grande krasonto brediende kasama. Son brediende karamantoshi se vlanto. Masifante ki mananda. La vamur bakase kremando bakase kremando. I krante de boko sombre. Le brana kasheka ki bakanda. Masaka kinto lolo boko shikia. Kasaka kantama. I kupahanga la bakasaya. Le bossi ramando. Raba bakashanda la bakasaya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift right hand and say, Father God, no ravine. Open your mouth and say, Ravine. Can you shout loud? Who eat my food? Any ravine that mistakenly was sent on an errand on my behalf, you will not eat what belongs to me, you will not take it from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to close the mouth of ravines, the appetite of ravines, that they will not take your food. They will not take what is due to you. They will not take it away from you. You're not praying. I told you to clap your hands and pray. If you're tired, we'll close and go. Pray. I decree against ravines. No ravine will have appetite for what is due to me. No ravine will take what belongs to me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name I pray. We're going to pray and say, Father, all those that submit to me, that believe in me, shall not be confused by any man. That they will not be confused. My helpers, my supporters, those who believe in me, those who stand by me, that they will not be confused. That nobody will confuse their mind against me. And anyone that wants to confuse their mind, Lord, set the person apart from the queen and bring him to a place of destruction. Raise your right hand and say, Father God, say, Lord, Father God, any man or woman 
that will try to confuse people against me, confuse my helpers away from me, confuse them not to submit to me, not to be loyal to me, not to believe in me. Today, let such people begin to answer a call from hell. May such people that will confuse my people never see tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Father, I decree that any man that will confuse anybody against me shall not see the light of tomorrow. Shall not see the light of tomorrow. Let them be kept behind 2022. May they never cross over. And if they make a mistake and cross over, blind them, make them useless and impotent and let them become unproductive in life. In the land of the living, may they be dry. Let there be no water on their ground. Let there be no shelter over their head. May their star never shine forth. May they never be seen. Ah! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak that they shall die the death of Oreb and Zamona. In the name of let their end be like Sambalat and Tobias. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, God sent a king, Cyrus, to help Israel. Sambalat and Tobias woke up to go and confuse the king against the decree to help. Any man that holds place, that is in a place of power and position, that God has positioned to be a blessing to you, any Sambalat of Tobias that will come to confuse them, may the end of that person be like Sambalat and Tobias. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and say, Father God, any Sambalat and Tobias that will come to weaken the builders, those coming to build my life, build my ministry, build my health, build my family, any Sambalat and Tobias of our own time that wants to confuse people against me, may their end be like the Sambalat and Tobias of the Old Testament. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ and the saints of God, say amen. I have a lot of prayer topics to pray because of time. Lift your beautiful hands up to God. Obu gibu malite dogu ku odi e kari gime o udoki e uda bugutu wane e omu gime o webi e asimna.
I say, give God a clap for me and a shout. Hallelujah. Turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 5. Please, no more talking, no more walking about. Sit down and concentrate tonight. And gain from God's word tonight. Second word. Makalabo <laughs> shatalabahaya. Verse 8. Stand up on your feet and let's read the word. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Stand up. Stand up. Please go and beat anybody sitting down at the back. I give you right to do that. Go walk to the utmost of obedience. Verse 8. Are you there? And David said on that day, Whosoever getteth up to the gutter and smitheth the Jebusites and the lame and the blind that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. The blind and the lame. See that. The blind and the lame does not enter Jerusalem. Ladies and gentlemen, some years backwards, I happened to be in Lagos. In first time to be precise. And there was this, my daughter in the Lord, that I prophesied to when she was in school in a suit. So somehow, a man came to marry her. I'm not sure I'm getting it well. And the man was so crazy about this, my daughter. To the point that the parents of the girl said, this kind of woman, hey, this kind of child from where she's coming from cannot be a part of our family. In other words, the community abhors such a person. In other words, the tradition is against that person. In other words, the boy is a prince. And ought not to marry somebody they call an outcast. And the parents of the boy swore. The mother said, over her dead body will she marry the son. And when she said that, and I heard it. I called my sister, Akuna. I said, come bring me your wedding ring. She brought, I called the husband then, get me your wedding ring. And they get it. I said, I called the guy, I said, God, tell the husband to come. And they said, what are you trying to do? I said, I'm, I'm about to wake them. In the parlor in first stack, immediately, <laughs> when the boy came, he parked his car because the compact could not take the car. So he parked the car outside and the parents of the boy also lives in fresh tank. And I'm all shakataba. I feel good in my spirit. I feel good, ladies and gentlemen, because God is about to break some stigmas, some chains. God is about to change narratives in people's lives. God is about to break some wicked traditional protocols that has held so many people bound, that has held so many people down. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Say, Lord, someone say, Lord, tonight I will not cross over with that stigma. Just the keyboard. Come on, I'm tired. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter what any stigma says. Is there any prophecy upon your head? If there is prophecy on your head, that womb must open. If there is prophecy upon your head, that man shall, be, shall no longer be sterile. If there is prophecy upon your head, you will not somersault, you will not be frustrated, you will not be delayed or denied what is due to you in 2023. Someone said, Lord, 2023, no denial. So when the young man came in, parents of the boy was crossing and now saw their son. They said, ah, is that not a can enter the house? <laughs> and they allowed him to come in. And when the boy came in, he sat down. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. And they opened the door. It was the mother and the father of the boy. <laughs> When they walked in, they were so shocked to see them there. I told her, I said, don't bother yourself. When the mother looked at me, saw me, he said, ah, is this not evangelical whims that used to preach for us at Zoe Ministries? I said, it's me, madam. He said, I'll be looking for you. Hey! He said, I'll be looking. God used you in Ogwa Shuku program, 1990. 93 or 92, I don't know. He said, God used you to get me healed and I've been looking for you. And uh, and I looked and said, do you know this? He said, yes. he said, this is that my only son. I said, are you serious? I said, your son is about to marry my daughter. The man said, daughter? He said, yes. I said, who? She said, I said, this one sitting down here. He said, is that your daughter? He said, yes. The woman knelt down. Their father knelt down and they began to weep like baby. They said, We never knew that this is your this is the of God. He said, Because our people in our place, the woman now said that she's not interested in being a member of the women meeting again. Because they have told her that if your son marries that girl, we'll remove you from the community. And the woman was so excited. He said, if this is your son, your daughter, and this is my son, I give my consent to my husband. He said, honey, or the girl, the man said, him. Then another told the girl, said, call your snow brother. The sales cars. He called his snow brother. He came from Mazamaza Kenya. I said, pay that one. He took his hand. They paid that. I raised my hand up. I began to pray for them. I began to prophesy to them. And right there, right there, they married and I wedded them. Ladies and gentlemen in the house, while they were talking nonsense with their mouth, I invoked, I invoked 1921. It was in 1921. Open your mouth, I said 1921. There's a decree called Decree 1921. I invoke that decree 1921 to begin to walk. And what is Decree 1921? Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21. Someone read it. He said, many are the devices. Many are the tricks of men. Many are the manipulations. Many are the wickedness of men. But the counsel of the Lord. Everybody said the counsel of the Lord. Everybody said the counsel of the Lord. Somebody said the counsel of the Lord. Stand up and said counsel of the Lord. Somebody said stand up. Somebody said counsel of the Lord. Somebody said the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. I don't know what they have said against you. I don't know what they have planned against you. But in 2023, the counsel of the Lord shall come into manifestation. Let them hate you. Let them talk evil against you. Let them plan evil against you. The word of God says the counsel of the Lord that will stand. Read it. Read it. There are many devices in the man's heart. Use that word. Tricks. There are many tricks. There are many tricks in many the man's craftiness. Time. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord. <laughs> Nevertheless, that, that shall stand. Nevertheless, uh -huh. the counsel of the Lord, the instruction of God, the decision of God, the mind of God. The
the will of God will supersede. It will, invo it will be invoked upon Pro 1921 will come upon them. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what they are saying against you. I don't know the tricks they want to play against your destiny. I don't know the manipulations they want to use against you in your office. Do not be afraid. In 2023, the counsel of the Lord, only the counsel of the Lord will uh -huh. work for you. Amen. Only the counsel of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord will defeat the tricks of the wicked. Amen. The counsel of the Lord will destroy all traditions. Amen. Break every norm. We break every chain. We break every circumstance. Someone said the counsel of the Lord. The Someone said, Lord, Lord, only your counsel. Only will your counsel will work. They are planning to mess up your life. That is why the devil planned against Mephibosheth. Because he see that if he can. Because the devil knows that Mephibosheth will take over from David. Am I talking, friends? So he began to create circumstances. He started a circumstance that will make the son of Jonathan not to come to his next level. He planned a game. And they planned a trick. Because the devil knows his. Am I talking first? He knows the history. He knows that no cripple, no disabled, no blind, no leprous man can come into Jerusalem. So he went ahead to scatter that plan so that Mephibosheth will never sit in the king's table. And he knows that David hates the blind. David does not like the cripple. David does not like this and that and the other one that I so he went ahead of time and created the circumstances of war that made the nurse that was carrying just the uh, Mexico to drop to Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth automatically became a cripple. And they took Mephibosheth to a city of dryness. Kept him there so that no that he will not perceive the royalty fragrance. But one day came, ladies and gentlemen, your one day is on the day. Any moment from now, you enter into your one day. Ten minutes from now, your one day will start. That one day that the king will come for you. That one day that they will change your garment. The one day that your name shall be changed. The one day of promotion is coming. Ten minutes from now, you will begin to experience your one day. And one day came. Everybody say, one day came in my life. Everything changed. Someone say, one day came. My life changed. One day came. I became pregnant. One day came. I got married. One day came. I bought a car. One day came. I bought a house. One day came. I paid my bills. One day came. Barrenness left. One day came. Sickness left. One day came. The disease disappeared. One day came. One day came. One day came. One day came. I said, let that day come to you now. Let that your day come to you now. In the name of Jesus. One day came. And then we said, because the counsel of the Lord is about to stand. They gave order and laws. No great person will come into Jerusalem. And they put hatred in the heart of David against the blood of the hatred. But in that one day said, the covenant began to speak. The altar that the father of Jonathan Mephibosheth raised, which is Jonathan, began to talk. He said, he entered there, he said, is there nobody in the house of, of Jonathan that I may show kindness for the sake of Jonathan? I, I don't care what the person is like. And the first thing he said, he's a cripple. He's a cripple. He, he cannot have a child. He's a bad boy. He cannot have that position. He's not qualified. And, jo and David said, what nonsense are you talking about? Go and get him from where he is. Hey! Anywhere they say that you're not qualified to get anything, God will order them to go and get you to get it. God will command them to come, to send them. They will call you and take it. Your visa, your residency, my residency, my everything. God will say, come and take it. Go and get him. Go and get him. Go and get him. And the Bible said, he sent the servant of so, the father of Jonathan, sit down and get him now from wherever he is because he knows where he kept him because he has planned to take everything that belongs to who 
to Mephibosheth, which he will inherit. And the Bible said they went and brought Mephibosheth into Jerusalem. The demonic protocol was broken. So shall it be in 2023. Every satanic protocol that was been working against you is destroyed tonight. I destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. For some of you that are watching this live broadcast, what is the protocol holding you? I break that protocol. I break that protocol in the name that is above every other name. That name is Jesus Christ. The stigma is broken. The spell is broken. The omen is destroyed. The bad omen is destroyed. The negative things is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. The Bible said they went and brought the video set. When they brought him, David was not already seated. They kept David the and the seat of the king. And they took a cloth, covered that place. The tablecloth made David not to see the crippled leg. He said that the tablecloth covered his leg. And you know what happened? The Bible said his body came out big. And from outside, you will see a tall, huge man, handsome looking fine man. Handsome looking fine man because God covered his nakedness with his glory. When he came, he said, Who is this fine man? They said, It is the Mephibosheth. The one that was crippled. He didn't want to care. David did not see the cripple. I prophesy that men's eyes will not see a fault that will disqualify you. Men shall not see that fault. They shall not see that disability. That weakness that you carry, that mistake that you made, that will disqualify you from receiving what is your due to you. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said the glory, the cross covered his leg. And when David came, he looked at him. Nobody else could meet up with the eyes of David. Mephibosheth fineness entered the king's eyes. King said, Is that maybe we said they say, say Joab? Every property that belongs to Saul in Israel and that of Jonathan should be given back to who? To Mephibosheth. He said, Even you, you should go there and be serving him, you and your household. Your family generation will serve his generation till the man goes home. He said, Go and begin to serve who? Jonathan, the one you kept the hidden place. Ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell you something. You are the light. You are not going to be the light. You are the light. In 2023, you shall not be hidden. I say you will not be kept under the bush. You will shine forth in 2023. Why? Because you are the light of this world. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the light. You shall not be kept in the hidden place. You shall not be covered. Any man that wants to cover you, your flame will burn it off. It will burn off every clay, every shape, every, 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 everything that is not good in you. Let the light that you are blind the eyes of people that they will not see your fault. They will not see your mistakes. Your mistakes will become their miracles. They, when you make it, they say, this is what we want. We, you are trying to tell them, I don't like it this way. Uh, I want to change. They say, no, we want it this way. We want it this way. Ladies and gentlemen, I qualify you to inherit 2023. To be righteous. To be glorious. To be honored. To become fruitful. To be prosperous. To profit in 2023. The Bible said, and they handed over everything. What is it that is due to it that people are holding? Any minute, moment from now, they will hand it over to you. Let it be handed over to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and begin to declare. Declare your victory over your over 2022. Declare, declare. Open your mouth. You have only about two minutes. Open your mouth and talk to God. You have four minutes. Four minutes to enter your new Sana 
Ebo, so to, 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 so to